What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to another question. This is a question that was sent to me by a student. Thought it was a good one to uh, go over and make a video solution for. So if y equals f of the square root of x squared plus nine and f prime of five equals negative two, we have to find dy dx when x is equal to four. So why is this function over here? And when they're asking for dy by dx, they're just basically asking for the derivative of uh, this function over here. So notice that in this case, we actually have another function, the square root of x squared plus nine within the function f of x. So notice that this is a composite function. So I'm actually gonna take this and I'm gonna rewrite it as f of g of x. Let's keep it really general, where g of x, let's write this on the side, is that function, the square root of x squared plus nine, like that. All right, so I basically just took this and rewrote it like this. And what this is going to help us do, I feel, is when we take the derivative of this, notice that this is a composite function here, so we're gonna have to use the chain rule. So we know that the derivative of this is the derivative of the outside function, keeping that inner function the same, times the uh, derivative of the inner function. And now what we can do is we can bring back this function, g of x, and plug it in here, right? So I just feel like doing uh, this step allowed us to see what the step was when we uh, took the derivative and now we can incorporate it back in. So basically dy by dx is gonna equal f prime of g of x, that same function, x squared plus nine, the square root of x squared plus nine. But now we're gonna to have to multiply it by the derivative of this function. Now this function here, if we rewrite as x squared plus nine to the power of a half. So when we take the derivative, bring the one half down. We're gonna have to use the chain rule. We're gonna have to apply the chain rule on this here. So bring the one half down, subtract one from the exponent, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would be two x. So notice this two and that two cancel out. And so what we end up having is x over the square root of x squared plus nine. If we take that, bring it down to the uh, denominator to make that exponent positive, and then change the exponent to be a square root, right? So g prime x, the derivative of g of x is this over here. So we're gonna have x over the square root of x squared plus nine, like that, right? So now we have a fairly specific expression for dy by dx, a general expression. But we have to find what dy by dx is when x is equal to four. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plug in four for all the x values. So if we plug in four here, four to the power two is 16 plus nine is 25. Square root of 25 is five. So we would end up having f prime of five here times, if we plug in four over here, we'll have four at the top and then four to the power two is 16 plus nine is 25, square root of 25 is five. So this would be five, like that. So this ends up being four over five. And then notice that f prime of five, what is that? Well, we're told that it's equal to negative two times that four over five. And so our final answer ends up being negative eight over five. That's what the final answer is to this question. Right, so you're just applying the uh, chain rule. You got f of another function. So when you derive it, apply the chain rule. And then even when you have to take the derivative of that inner function, that's a composite function as well. So you have to apply the chain rule on that as well when you're taking the g prime x. So using the chain rule a couple of times, final answer, negative eight over five.